Hello everybody, welcome back to another video about different topics about uh, inline speed skating. Today we're gonna try to answer one of the most uh, classic questions I got on Instagram, on Facebook, on every social media or even when we speak around the track is why our sport is not Olympic. So uh, there is uh, many reasons uh, probably and there is uh, it's difficult always to answer this question but let's try to uh, see a little bit how the process works to become an Olympic sport and then try to see if what is wrong or what we could correct in our sport uh, to maybe one day become Olympic. So the first things we have to know is basically the, the simple condition to become Olympic are very clear about the IOC, the International Olympic Committee. Uh, you basically just, just need to have uh, 50 countries um, represented by men in three continents or you need to have the sport uh, practiced by uh, 35 uh, countries for women and also in three continents. So this is very clear and basic rules, but uh, there is a problem. The problem is that there is also a limit uh, of number of athletes at the Olympics. So in Summer Olympic, for example, because uh, we are concerned in our case with inline speed skating about Summer Olympic, there is a limit of 10,500 athletes allowed in uh, this competition. So that means if one day we wanted or we could have inline speed skating at the Olympic, that means some other sports need to be uh, basically kicked out. And that's uh, basically what is difficult. So every, every four years, the process is restart and the discussion on which sport is going out, which sport is coming in, is happening. Every four years, we have this scenario. So uh, recently, uh, we have, there is always discussion about if wrestling should be kicked out, if boxing should be kicked out. So we always have... Uh, uh, this uh, Olympic Committee is always having those discussions with those very traditional sports. In the past, uh, some sports were at the Olympic and have been kicked out of the Olympic program. For example, uh, the Pelot Basque. It's a quite European sport and it has been out from the Olympic for a long time. Uh, also, the, um, the rope where you have to pull uh, with the team the rope against another team. That was a uh, old Olympic sport also and uh, also there was a shooting pigeon was Olympic sport back in the days but it, it was kicked out also and there is also some sport that have been uh, out and that are coming back so for example tennis was in the program uh, then it went out and then it was uh, in again also sport like uh, rugby it was in the program with the rugby with 15 players that have been out and it's coming back in the program uh, with a seven uh, player version. So there, that's a bit maybe some part where the lobbying of the Olympic is applying to change the rules, to try to make some sports sometimes maybe more spectacular or more dynamic into an Olympic format. Now uh, new sports are coming like surf, like breakdance actually, climbing or even skateboard. Uh, which is linked to our federation and that make that our federation basically become Olympic Federation. And there is always sport that are waiting to get Olympic, like squash, for example, uh, wakeboard and uh, inline speed skating. We are waiting this since so many years. Uh, so what we need to become Olympic? Uh, I think there is two kind of um, topics we need to look at. There is the image of the sport. I think the Olympic Committee is mainly looking also what kind of image the sport is having, uh, if it's popular for the youth. And I think this is very important. So we have uh, inline speed skating is pretty good in this. We have all the countries needed on any continent, but we also have a young population of inline skater, but maybe not big enough, not popular enough. So we need to work on the image of the sport if we want to become an Olympic to uh, keep uh, showing this. It can come also uh, basically with trend. You see some sports are more trendy. It goes up and down uh, during uh, years. So we have to create that inline speed skating become more trendy uh, to give a strong image from the sport. And one of the opportunity to do this is basically like every photo, every comment, only Instagram reel and stuff that you can see on social media. The more you will uh, make comments positive comments and like the picture 
on all social media, the more it will uh, push our sport to the light and make it look like a young sport and trendy sport. The other part that the Olympic Committee is also for sure looking is if the sport is economically attractive. So uh, yeah, this is two important points. One is kind of political with a point of view uh, if yes or no uh, we are interesting. There is first a political uh, point of view from the sport if yes or no we are interesting for the Olympic Committee and this we need to make the image of our sport fit with a young Olympic image. And the economical part is basically try to make uh, the economy all around the activity uh, getting better. So then it's not only about skating, speed skating, it's about skating in general. We need to have a strong uh, powerful industry there. And uh, if you want to push, what we can do, of course, is support all the brands that are investing in the sport. Uh, Power Slide is investing in the sport, in speed skating, Aeroskate, Rollerblade, all those brands that are trying to sponsor athletes and support the sport. Uh, if you want to give back, I think supporting those brands are very important. Uh, to promote the sport. And uh, we need to make those brands like Power Slide or Rollerblade are the main example. Uh, we need those brands to be very big so we can maybe have one day an internet, an economic on a marketing that will shine more uh, to the eyes of the Olympic Committee. Many times we are, uh, the basic command is basically to say that our federation, our federation suck to uh, make our sport become Olympic, but I think we are playing uh, pretty fair. Every federation from any sport have the same structure, the same organization. Uh, so I don't think we do less good or better than uh, many other sports here. It can always be better, but if we complain and think we can do better, uh, we can try to be elected and take the place of the people at the federation and prove if we can do better. So it's not an easy job. It's very political there. I think uh, there is a lot of progress at the moment by having skateboarding there and the Federation, I'm sure, at the international level is doing a good lobbying around the Olymp International Olympic Committee to try to promote some other discipline like racing, inline speed skating or some other opportunity. It's difficult when we are a, multi a federation with so many activities like artistic, hockey, inline hockey, speed, it's hard to, to create uh, a strong lobbying in this, but um, yeah, inline speed skating have, have a good chance. We are, I think the Federation is doing quite good in this. So one of the big argument uh, we hear also is like, for example, in our sport, people would say that the rules are not super clear or perfect. And I'm not really agree about this. Uh, people will say sometimes well, there is a little too much fight in the pack or it's possible to make faults, but uh, it, it's not a reason why we are uh, Olympic or not. Let's look at some other sport, for example, uh, uh, in handball. Handball, uh, look how they make the difference. It's way more aggressive than what's happening in the pack of uh, skater. If you look at cycling in the final sprint, it's very similar situation to what's happening in our sport. And uh, some other people could argument that uh, it's very difficult for the referee to take decision there is fault, there is no fault. Yes, it's difficult, but not more than football. Uh, how many times do you see a football game and people are making a uh, comment after the game? There should be a penalty and it goes to top sport when the level is so high, it's normal that there is some contact, there, there is some little fight, not fault, but some little fight. It's part of the sport. It's also making the show and it's also show where the good skater are good to survive in this environment or go away from this environment. So uh, for me, it's not the point why we are Olympic or not Olympic. Uh, I would have even say that uh, we like this, our sport like it is. It's quite a, a spectacular sport. All this little action in the corner or in the pack are part of our sport. We should not uh, try to cancel all this just because the Olympic International Committee would say that we have to clean this because it's not the reason why we are not in. Uh, also, if you look at short track, try to make the sport also more clear on this using a lot of video, trying to make the rules more clear. And it's still the same at the end of the race. Uh, people are still not agree why this guy is disqualified, why this one is not. And they don't have any contact in their, uh, in the short track or contact is technically not allowed. So it's really not solving the problem. And it's basically also killing 
the show and the spectacular part of the sport. So I, I like personally more if we keep the sport like it is. Uh, we already make a lot of effort by having a very standard track, which is also uh, killing a bit of the history of the sport. I liked it a lot more when there was many different tracks and the skater have to adapt to the different situation. So we could believe that by having a classic uh, 200 meter almost flat track uh, with the same surface surface over it, it would make more chance to become Olympic but every track will always be a bit different. Also in cycling, all the tracks are a bit different. Even in track and field, uh, we could see on TV that the 400 meters uh, Tartan track are all the same, but they are not all the same. Some tracks are faster than some other. The Tartan, the surface uh, on the track and field can be different too. The same that it's hard for us to have a totally perfect exact track everywhere. So for me, those are not really uh, argument uh, for being Olympic or not Olympic. We have to keep loving the sport and maintaining it like it is, keep our tradition, keep our history and love it the way it is and promote it the way it is. If the Olympic committee love it like we love it, then we become Olympic and that's good. If they still don't accept, it's probably for some other reason that are more political or more economical. And that's where we, as a community of inline speed skater or inline skater in general, we have to work on this part, make our sport more popular, more tendency, more trendy by putting it on all social media very actively with cool video, cool photo and cool action. And by developing and supporting the industry all around inline speed skating. So that's my opinion about how we could or why our sport is not Olympic yet. And uh, I hope you like it. Put in the comment if you have other reason, if you see some other point, if you agree or if you don't disagree. The more comment you put, the better it's also for the algorithm of the video. Thanks for following this channel and see you in the next video in a few days. Bye bye.